Hey everybody, Carl Dean here. So I, I got a question for you guys. What do you do when you get access or word that a deal, a multifamily apartment deal is hitting the market and you get kind of the whisper before anybody else does, okay? So this is like getting gold, you know, especially if it's a good deal and someone gives you the heads up before it hits market. Now, uh, I'm gonna share a video with you guys today that I just found going through my array of many, many, many videos and photos. And I stumbled upon it. And this is a video where um, basically I got wind of a deal and it was in Waco. So it was in a market that I was unfamiliar with and many of my investors were unfamiliar with. And so my goal was to go down to this market film as much about the market in the direct area as I could to, to educate my investors. And also, I had to do an extensive full property tour to figure out as much information as I could about this property discreetly without being found out, without notifying the staff that the deal was for sale or coming for sale. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever tried to do this, but it is kind of tricky and it is a bit of an art and this, again, this video is never, this, this, the intention of this video was never to share it. The intention of this video was literally just to send to a couple investment partners of mine, uh, a couple guys that I was working with for the time uh, and working for, for at the time. Um, and uh, it's, it's, it's so extensive, it's about 16 minutes, but it is the best secret shop video you will ever watch or ever find on the internet. And I am, I am absolutely positive of that and that's why I'm sharing it because I've, sh I've shared a few tidbits on social media and some of my friends who are shopping apartments, apartments constantly were like, that is gold, what you did there. Like I was literally acting. I, was, I, I, had, I went down to this market. Again, I was unfamiliar with it. I was taking videos of the street corners and what the employment was and all the schools that I was passing and then also on my, on my phone in iMovie, which I'm huge on, and I can, I can do another video on that if you'd like. Just comment in the comments below. If you guys are interested in, in seeing how I edit this video, right, and, and do it, because I did this in my car and sent it to these guys while I was still in Waco. Uh, if you're interested in that, comment below, and I'll make a separate video on how I did that and how to, how to make that happen. But I, I went down here. I acted like I saw a Coca-Cola factory on the way to the deal. It was very close by. Uh, I dressed down, so I had a cap on and a polo shirt on, and... You know, I was, I was not in my SUV, I was in my car. I tried to, you know, I know anytime I'm secret shopping a property, I don't want to look like a guy uh, that has a white collar job because that's a little bit fishy. Uh, if you look like a broker, if you look like somebody who invests in real estate, that's, up, that's probably going to set off some red flags. So I went in there and I pretended to be a guy who was an executive moving to the area to work for Coca-Cola, which I just so happened to see on the way down there, and that I was taking this video because... I was moving to the area, building a home, but until or, or buying a home, but until I found the area in which I wanted to live, we had to rent, and I had to sell my wife on the idea of, of whatever apartment I chose. So the whole time I'm, I'm, I'm asking this lady questions about classic units and rehab units and what she's getting for this and demographics and seeing what the opportunity is on this deal, I'm being super, super strategic in positioning it like I am asking this information for my, my wife and I'm filming the entire time. And honestly, she didn't for one second catch wind of what was going on. And, and after watching it a couple of times, I just got such a chuckle out of it. I'm like, I have to share this. There's so many people out there I know that are trying to secret shop deals and they are just totally failing at it. Either they're failing at it or they just don't know the right questions to ask and how to ask them strategically so you don't give away the fact that this deal might be coming to market because when staff realizes that a deal might be getting sold, they start to worry about their job. They start to worry about the security and where they work and they might either check themselves out or start looking for another job. And so owners are very, very protective over that. So it's a, it's a very strategic process. It takes a little bit of acting uh, and uh, I think you guys will find it very informational. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share this video with you right now and as I'm playing the video, I'm going to also be, you know, I'm talking in the video, there's content in the video where I'm, te I'm like t texting in, hey, there's a value add opportunity here at the pool, blah, 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 and it's all in the video, you'll see. But as I'm going through the video, I'm also, and I may pause it at times because I want to explain to you my strategy on what I'm asking, why I'm asking it, and what answers I'm really trying to find so I can put together a report uh, 
extensive report on this deal, on this market, on the whole shebang. I mean, I was even talking to the gas station workers about the employment in the area and how long they worked there and lived there. It was just amazing, this, this whole Chip and Joanna effect. I can tell you one thing, I'm definitely a fan of Waco uh, and, and that, that area. I love the market. I loved this deal. Unfortunately, we did not get this deal uh, because of some, some things that happened and some people who were kind of out of the country at the time that I needed to, to be a, a part of this. But regardless, I blocked out the property name uh, and the signage and whatnot to do my best to try to, to try to remain discreet. But I really think this is something you guys will enjoy. I honestly do believe that this is the best secret shopping tutorial, how-to video that will ever exist. So if you have a better one, please send it my way because I'd love to see it. But uh, check this out, understand the strategy, and hopefully this helps you guys when you're secret shopping some properties that you could potentially purchase. <laughs> enjoy it. This is the road off the freeway. There's a bunch of new construction going on on the freeway. This is the road they're taking me to the apartments. And there's just tons of manufacturing jobs over here. It's just plant after plant after plant of different types of manufacturing, distribution, logistics, you name it. There's tons of stuff going on over here. Electrical supply, welding, communications. Right here. Looks like Mars Wrigley maybe company, but huge facility. We're about two miles away from the property. A lot of nicer, decent cars, you know. Good demographic, it seems. Coca-Cola. So obviously they got a massive, massive, massive Coca-Cola plant right here. A lot of jobs there, I'm sure. Seems like a lot of employment. Walmart. So we're about uh, about a mile from the property. McDonald's, Taco Bell, all your faves. You got uh, McAllister's, you got AT&T down there. So they, this is about a mile from the property, uh, just north, and I screenshot my map. So it's Echo, Ace, that's the back of the Coca-Cola factory there. Raisin Cane's, you got Taco Bell, McDonald's, everything else down there. You got Sonic, you got Domino's, so employment's here, car washes, Taco Bueno, Schlotzky's, anything and everything kind of right in this area. And there was a lot of bigger box retail stores right up the freeway, about another two and a half miles. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Regal Drive. You can see, literally, I mean, they love their fast food down here. Nice new strip malls. Yeah, and employment seems to be heavy, so I'm at uh, Midway ISD. Hewitt and Mars, close to the property here. I'm right here by the deal. Woodgate Intermediate School. So the deal is next door to this residential neighborhood. I just wanted to drive in here, see what the quality of homes look like. So definitely a nice area. Say comparable to a Frisco Plain out kind of area. Very clean neighborhood. Feet. Turn right onto Lost Trails Drive. A lot of homeowners you can see you know obviously landscaping is well kept so not a lot of for sale signs so not a lot of just immediate inventory just kind of in and around drive. where i'm at here anyway there was windows yeah nope i'd say really solid neighborhood here next door okay i'm pulling up to the deal now but before i go inside obviously yeah the paint does look solid the ground and see what that's looking like without being too out in the open. Because there's some com competition here across the street. I don't know if it's light competition. The deals don't look as nice, but let's just show you.
This is actually a church directly across on this side. So you got the duplexes, you got the C-class deal, and then the church. And then a bunch of single family homes directly around it. So it doesn't look like there's any immediate competition with an eyesight, but I'll do some comp checks and go shop those. This chapel road that it's on does seem to be like a cut through, major cut through. I drove south, not much, but this does seem to be kind of like a cut through from the main road there where all the restaurants were and everything <clears throat> that comes back because uh, it's just nonstop kind of traffic here, but no direct competitors that I see. And there is a nice uh, single family neighborhood nearby and surrounding. Hi, my name's Carl. Uh, I'm, I'm looking for a 12 month lease uh, with my fiance and myself because I'm looking at accepting a job at Coca-Cola down the street uh, as an executive. And I haven't found a home that I'd like to purchase yet. So I was wondering if you could help me. This is like a real gym, like legit, they have anything you can imagine. The pool is pretty badass. A lot of water, they got the offices, offices here. So they got some pergola areas, some beach chairs, big waterfall, very cool pool area. Paint is new, but I would say it's kind of shoddy. Nice big jacuzzi, got these fountain fields. Definitely could dress this up. We'll go to building 10 over here is our one bedroom and then building eight is our two bedroom. How high are the carports? Like the higher ones? Uh, I don't They're know. probably like what, eight feet, nine feet? No, I do know. Oh, those are storage. Uh huh. Okay, gotcha. I do know our big trucks for those, so. Yeah, which I'm sure you get a lot of big trucks down here. It's Texas. Yeah, <laughs> it's Waco, Texas at that. Right? Everything looks really, really, really clean though. Your demographic must be really good here. We also have a porter. So okay. He works at the I, you probably saw him when you came up here. I did. About a mile. I came in a different way. Okay, so it's um, they're older, they're cheaper and smaller. Okay. But we have our porter who runs the two, so he picks up any dog poop that people leave behind. Trash. Every day he's walking the property. This thing is. Our owner loves plants. That's awesome. Uh -oh. Yeah, sorry. There you are, right? Two hall closets as soon as you walk in. Bathroom. Guest bathroom. Oh, this is the guest bathroom. We do have a linen closet and a medicine cabinet. Okay. There. And this is the guest bedroom. So this has an entryway for your bedroom, but also for your guests. Okay, yep. Yeah. Each door can be locked. Oh yeah, nice size closet too. Okay. Crown molding because it's downstairs. These are the 10 foot ceilings. That some of our units have wood floors, some have carpet. This okay. is the particular unit that you would get. Okay, is the wood floor, it gotta be is it real wood or is it like a vinyl? Vinyl. Okay. Okay. All the slats are like this. So all you have to do is this. Gotcha. In the kitchen, you have water purification system. Oh wow. Garbage disposal. Okay. You have a dishwasher, okay. ice maker, okay. microwave, stove, and a wine rack. Okay. And then you have your pantry over here. Okay. And then you have your washer and dryer connections in here. Okay. And every unit, no matter what's one we get, has a washer and dryer. Absolutely. Okay. This is your built-in desk to the left. Here's the mirror here. <laughs> built-in built desk. desk. Yeah. Here. Saw that. Master okay. Bedroom. Nice. Nice master. Good size. Okay. Bathroom. Garden tub. 
tile floors, and they even the even the ones with the vinyl wood plank have tile bathrooms and kitchens. Yes. Okay. Yes. Garden tub. Nice garden tub. There you go. And this is the huge closet, and you'll actually go in, close the door, and there's more shelves back there. Okay. So, oh yeah, nice closet. Okay. So here's a little balcony area. Good size here. A couple of chairs out here. So, this is the A2. Nice floors open to the bedroom there. Now, that little cutout is only in 2% of our units, so it's very rare. That okay, that so that's a rare cutout. Okay, yeah. but we still have the desk here. So, you just have one less bedroom? Uh huh. Okay, this is just the A2. There's snacks and drinks if you want any. Bigger kitchen. Mm-hmm. Bigger pantry too. Really? B1. This is the B1. You have the half bath as soon as you walk in the door. Got the vinyl plank floors. Tile in the foyer, tile in the kitchen. Nice high ceilings. Kitchen. Got a little closet here. Oh wow, nice high ceilings here. I don't know, it's gotta be 10 foot or something you said? These, no, the downstairs was 10. This, this is even higher. Oh wow. Bathroom, nice garden tones. Now every bathroom have a linen closet in the back. Okay. So. Any closet. This is the master then on this one? No, this is the spare. Well, this is the spare with a walk-in closet and a mm -hmm. garden tub. Wow, that's cool. Kitchen's a little smaller. Desk is bigger. Desk is bigger, that's cool. Big closet there. Bathroom. Sink garden, garden tub. Nice room and mirror. And another closet. Sweet. Are the mirrors a hit with people? They're hit or miss. Okay, <laughs> I, get, I get the old people and they're like, oh. <laughs> really? And then younger people like it. They're kind of into it. Or yeah. or whatever. Of course. Of course. There's the patio. So that's right off the living room here. It's really hit or miss. <laughs> okay. There's these big backyards, huh? Yeah. Our dog, our dog lovers. We also have a dog park. I don't know if you'll have animals. We do, yeah. We have a small French bulldog. Okay. Do you want to see the dog park? Yeah, I'd love to. We can to. hop on the golf cart and go over. Yeah, I'd love to. That'd be great. Yes, we have a fenced in dog park, a fenced in basketball court. Oh, wow. A fenced in children's playground, and then a second school for the kids. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yes. So, this is the kiddie pool. It's just one foot, six inches? Uh -huh. Oh, wow. We call it a wading pool. I call it a doggy pool. <laughs> That'd be cool. So this is... One of the is... things I forgot to mention is that uh, we do have 24-7 maintenance. Okay. So emergencies and after hours don't come and on the weekends. Okay. The air filter in the apartment. Yeah. This, this guy, this is really like over and above what you would normally see in an apartment complex. And then it really is. Smoke detector batteries. Three exit gates. One entrance gate. One entrance gate. So I'm here at the back of the property, okay? And then there's this dog park here that's like super top notch with all the stuff. And then a basketball court, full yeah. court doggy bags throughout the whole property okay. posted with trash cans. There's the other neighborhood next door, which is the exit she just took me out of. It takes you into this neighborhood. It's a bunch of duplexes. The whole neighborhood's a bunch of duplexes. And it goes out to the main road and then back into the entrance over here. Again, that's south. Not much going on. The church. And then 
main road here. Creative learning, so maybe like a preschool. About a quarter mile up the road here. Another deal. I would have shot, shot that deal right here. I'm curious, because it looks pretty damn nice. I like the brick here. fresh paint too so this would be the second one hitting the market we'll see how they compare it's about not even a mile that way on the right hand side and then the normal one is about a half a mile that way on the left hand side where I just came from I'm at the corner here getting gas McDonald's there. There's your Coca-Cola building. There's a strip with every single, all the foods and everything else. There is a strip center here, a Walmart there, and then this road is all those different manufacturing jobs and everything else. The demographic is strong here. Honestly, it looks uh, like a nice community overall, very clean. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so the Coca-Cola building is adding 3,500 jobs that are in, underway, and then the Mars was one of the shops that was up here on this road, the manufacturing, all that stuff, and they're adding another 3,000 jobs? Yeah. And that's where all the Skittles in America are made. How about that? That's cool. The president ever made in the last 10 years? It's been about here. Really? Yep. Wow.